Hydrometers are a tool that every home brewer and winemaker should become familiar with because they can tell you so much about what's going on. A hydrometer is a glass tube with weight on one end. Its purpose is to measure the difference in gravity or density between pure water and water with sugars dissolved in it. The hydrometer takes this reading by floating the liquid. It is best to use a hydrometer test jar to take your samples. Test jars are made of plastic or glass and allow you to take small samples to be tested. Newer winemakers and brewers tend to take a lot of samples. We know what the directions say on some kits, but it is usually best to keep the samples down to a minimum. You are not going to gain that much information by taking samples all the time. Keep in mind that every time you open your fermenter, you are allowing the possibility for bacteria to be introduced. Use a turkey baster or a wine thief to take your samples. And of course, make sure everything is sanitized before use. On most hydrometers made today, they have three scales for taking measurements. The three scales are the potential alcohol, balling, and specific gravity. Which scale you use depends on how specific you want your reading to be. The easiest scale to use is the potential alcohol. To take a hydrometer reading using the potential alcohol scale, these are some tips to remember. Sanitize all equipment that will come in contact with your wine or beer. Take a sample of the liquid before you add the yeast. Place the sample in the hydrometer test jar. If you have a wine thief, you do not need to use this as the wine thief doubles as a test jar. Place the hydrometer in the test jar. Make sure the hydrometer is not hitting the sides of the jar as this will affect your reading. Spin the hydrometer as you would a top to remove any bubbles clinging to it. With the sample at eye level, look to see where the liquid crosses the markings. Write down the reading. For beer, we usually be around 5%, for wine, 12%. Let the beer or wine completely ferment. You'll know it's done when you see one bubble a minute or less coming out of the airlock. Take a second reading just before bottling. To determine the amount of alcohol, you subtract the second reading from the first reading. For example, if your first reading was 5% and your second reading is 1%, take 5 minus 1 equals 4%. That is the amount of alcohol.